first knew something was up when Roma missed a Chelsea game to go watch the chick flick, The Fault in Our Stars with Catalina. <laughs> of course, I made fun of him for that one for quite a bit, and I will never let him forget how he had his priorities mixed up. <laughs> but when I see how happy he is today, how happy they are today, I know that he probably made the right choice. <laughs> Ronald has been my best friend since before kindergarten, when his mom used to be my babysitter. He has been an amazing friend over the years, and it truly is an honor to be his best man. We've had some great times together, and I know he will continue to do so in the future. No one was happier than I when Ronald started dating Carolina. Seeing their romance blossom was like watching a fairy tale unfold. What fairy tale is that, Ave? Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I was thinking more of Shrek, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, anyone that has spent time with you and Carolina knows how great you are together. And I would like to wish you both a lifetime of happiness. Carolina, take good care of Ronald. And please make sure that you lend him back to us every so often, as despite his flaws, we kind of like having them around. May you always find joy in the little things, like PlayStation and FIFA. Oh wait, no, that was in middle school. May find joy in each other and have a lifetime of happiness together. Well, I'm sure that you all be pleased to hear that I'm almost done. All that remains for me to do is to ask you all to fill your glasses, stand and join me in wishing Mr. and Mrs. Rendon a long and happy life together. Now please raise your glasses and toast to the bride and groom.